So another thing about most of my videos on YouTube just disappearing, not only, you know, I, I first thought was, well, because they know I'm going to use Rumble, um, so they don't want me to have access to those videos. They're trying to be assholes like children. But then, at the same time, if someone else is using those videos and YouTube's not checking them, not consequencing them, not saying, hey, these aren't yours, and I take those videos down and put them on Rumble and someone's using them, it will detect it. Yeah. Oh, but that reminds me how all my video, a lot of my videos disappeared when I signed up for Rumble. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder how that works. Ooh. Probably because someone was using them on Rumble and how they let you mess with the embedding. Actually, that YouTube in the studio, I think, somebody was using my videos, I think, and they were getting paid. They were altering the embedding codes, hacking the accounts or whatever, right? And that's why they removed them because if I tried to upload my own videos to Rumble, it would detect it and say that's a duplicate. That would let me know someone's using them, right? So that reminds me, Back, I think this is before Bronco Girl came to Florida. And she had, one of her administrators on her channel was this guy Dave 2D or Dave 3D. And I deleted my account one day. Then strangely, within 24 hours, this girl in California, a YouTuber supposedly threw herself in front of a train and killed herself because the night before Dave 2D made a video saying she had herpes so then he deleted his whole account so did she really die who killed her did she kill herself what does it have to do with Dave 2D and what does it have to do with me deleting my account and then him deleting his account <clears throat> I think we're on to something here I think we're really on to something here. Because when I deleted my account, whatever was embedded there, it shut his account down. Now, why she died coincidentally the night after he made a video about her, I have no idea. But it was in California. That's where YouTube headquarters is. Sounds like some real shady stuff going on. And, it needs and another thing that's been said by multiple people is that the FBI is controlling who can be successful on YouTube and who can't? Like, they are deciding who who gets to be paid and who doesn't. What else is new? But this is something that people are talking about. So, when I delete my channel, and then strangely, right after that, or at the exact same time, possibly, Dave2D's channel gets deleted... And then there's a dead YouTuber in California that he just got done making a herpes video about. That's really strange. And I'm sure if you contact the FBI about it, you'll never get a response. I can't imagine why. Yeah, now that Unstoppable Morgan went ghost and silent, not making any more videos. The other day I seen Black Bigelow make a video that seemed to be insinuating or, you know, it seemed like a subliminal threat to her, in my opinion. It was some woman with the last name Morgan that had died. And I can't remember what else, but it sounded like he was threatening her. See, when she's not posting videos, they don't know where she's at. And they're afraid she's going to expose them. I believe Bat Black Bigelow's involved, Dave 2D. Um, and honestly, a lot more YouTubers, uh, probably a shit ton. And the FBI. I truly believe they are stealing people's views and they are controlling who makes money and who doesn't. What else is new when it comes to some of us, right? But people are dying over it. People are being murdered over it and the FBI is involved. That's what it looks like to me. It needs to be investigated. And look, a recent video of Milk74, he was acting a little bit strange. Like, talking about... This is how you make money on YouTube. Like, 
like they're they're afraid that I'm not going to be on there anymore um cuz then they won't make any money off me or whatever or and he was he just had this sense about his outlook how he was looking at all these other people that say that they're a gangster they they live by the code but they're not because he knows that the FBI is involved in this whole YouTube thing and they're basically all working together to gag order people to keep quiet about what they're doing and they're they're they got law enforcement FBI help in oppressing people and stealing people's views and their money on YouTube and that in my opinion is why all those YouTubers came up against milk that's one reason that's one reason because they probably knew that he was more real than they were he wasn't about the games that they are they're working with the feds and they probably picked up on the fact that he wasn't going to play those games or something spooked him about him i'm thinking so all these people are all these youtubers are working with the feds or youtube to steal other people's material their views and they are working with the there's no way the feds are not involved because they they're these people are being gag ordered and people been talking about how the FBI is deciding who can win and who loses on YouTube well okay that makes sense so who's all involved the, these YouTubers are not just sitting around like I hope the FBI picks me no they're actively working they know what's going on and then when people are getting murdered behind all this and people are being threatened to be quiet like unstoppable morgan how when she first came to florida black bigelow showed up and was holding up a knife in his thumbnail talking about i followed her to florida threatening her that's not even subliminal that's blatant telling her to keep quiet about what's going on for real now it was all fun and games when you people were on the uh the um delivering end of the, the the blade right when people were dying behind you people but now what are you gonna do when people on the other side of the equation start killing people because of what you're doing you're gonna get scared you're gonna get scared while you people are out here murdering people over youtube videos over views and money what are, when people start going the other way from the other side killing you or people you know that are involved in this conspiracy what are you gonna do you're gonna get scared you're already scared aren't you yeah you are and from the looks of it these corrupt people on youtube they've made it very clear that they don't want to come to florida with that drama they got everybody else sold out. They, they got the police and everybody working with them, the FBI and all the other states. That's why Black Bigelow got so happy when I left Florida. He's like, ah, it's wonderful when things all fall into place. Yeah, exactly. Because these, I'm telling you, I'm seeing, unless this is all just a joke and it's all fabricated to look like a movie, if this is real, I think I got it figured out pretty well I, i've had it figured out but i forgot and nobody listens and of course they don't listen because they're involved they're not going to acknowledge that i'm right they're involved in this shit and once again that goes right back to what i said about the fbi admitting that they are involved in assassinations of jfk martin luther king jr because they want to assassinate more people hmm and all this youtube shit's getting exposed at least not yet, but I, I think I've been exposing it, but nobody's been listening. Nobody's been paying it any mind because most of the people are involved in it or they like watching. The whole fucking country is a bunch of sick fucks that like watching Hunger Games straight up. This whole country's fucking evil, dude. I'm telling you, the FBI's involved in this shit. Boy, you people better watch your ass. You better watch your ass because there's... <laughs> You ain't the only ones on the aggressive side of this equation anymore. I, that, I can see that. So you better watch out. Better watch your asses. You started some shit out of greed and hatred and jealousy. Don't be surprised when you get caught up.